uh, welcome to the data future channel this is shaker and in this particular uh, session we are going to develop a machine learning model specifically a supervised machine learning model uh, which can be used for the customer segmentation okay so we are going to use the k-means algorithm k-means clustering algorithm so that uh, we can uh, make the cluster of these uh, data points okay so in uh, supervised learning algorithms we are providing the uh, the both input and output like uh, independent and target variables but in case of the uh, unsupervised learning algorithms there is a not such cases so we are providing the whole data as is and uh, the the algorithm itself finds the patterns from the data and which come out with the the clusters okay so let's get started so here is um, uh, uh, here is uh, we are doing the customer segmentation um, this project it's an end-to-end -end project uh, now uh, you can you can start with the importing the required libraries so here as the required libraries we are importing pandas as a pd numpy as a np matplotlib pi dot pi plot as a plt and seaborn as a sns these two are for visualization and pandas and numpy used for the data manipulation okay and the computation purpose yes next one is we have to read the data so pd dot read underscore csv used for the read the csv file and i am storing that data into a df that is the data frame okay now your uh, our data looks like this the name of the customer age and the income there are three columns uh, from this we will uh, segment uh, make the customer segmentation uh, so we will we'll find uh, find which customers are falling in which uh, which segments okay now we'll check first uh, some day basic uh, data analysis like what are the number of rows and columns 22 rows and uh, three columns are there okay list of columns uh, we can see by dot uh, df dot columns the so name age and income then we can check also the data types of these columns uh, object means it's a string and integer uh, both age and income uh, columns are the integer one then uh, as usual uh, our steps we have to uh, follow the same steps so we can check the duplicate records whether there is uh, duplicates are present in the data set so df uh, in square bracket df dot duplicated this function I am using to check the duplicates but there is no duplicate values I'll check uh, uh, dot is null dot sum for checking the column wise uh, missing values there is no missing values okay so our data is look like uh, it's a clean data now we can do some statistical analysis we'll check uh, df dot describe will give the statistics of some numerical columns so here are two numerical columns one is age and second one is the income now you can see total number of count is 22 mean value of these two columns standard deviation minimum value then 25 fifth percentile 50 percentile 75th percentile and this is the maximum value in uh, respective columns okay uh, then we will check the uh, distribution of the data in this numerical column by using a histogram and box plot so histogram gives you the frequency of that particular uh, uh, that particular uh, 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 the bins or the intervals so here you can see the frequency of this 27 to uh, 29 is maximum uh, and here is the 38 to uh, 41 it's a uh, 4 okay so you can check it for the uh, this income also for that what you have to do you just have to take this column data frame and the column dot plot and you have to provide the argument kind is equal to hist hist means histogram so here again you can see the uh, total number of six uh, the customers having the range uh, more than 60,000 income then you can plot a box plot uh, here uh, so to check whether there is any outliers are present in there or not so outliers are not there so here you can see the outside of these two whiskers there is no any uh, data points the same thing you can do it for income there is no nothing so what you have to do dot plot kind you have to uh, give the box as a uh, argument okay it's a positional argument um yes this is about the visualization so we can uh, visualize the data that is a 
um, x and y because there are only two variables but if then uh, if there are more than two variables we cannot plot this scatter plots we are having a two variables age and income so i'm going to plot this this is x and this is y you can see there is a nice plot you can see yes this is the scatter plot of uh, income versus age now from this scatter plot we can easily understand that there are three groups or the three clusters are there already uh, by your uh, naked eyes you can uh, identify the three clusters okay so but if there are no row, a number of row, uh, columns are more and data is big in that case you cannot visualize such type of the, uh, type of the things so how to uh, mention the number of clusters uh, i'll explain it later uh, later on so um, yes considering the number of cluster is 3 uh, we will start building the model by using the three clusters so for that what you have to do you just have to import the k-means from the sklearn dot clusters so import this and then you create a, a, a object of the model and for that k-means and here you have to provide the number of cluster n underscore cluster is equal to 3 i am considering so now uh, model is ready now we have to fit that model uh, fit that model and we have to uh, we get the predictions also so fit underscore predict uh, will do the both the tasks it will fit the data as well as it will try to predict the clusters okay now i am storing that uh, the clusters which is the output of this is uh, uh, whether it is 0 1 and 2 means three clusters now you can see that um, it has uh, given the three clusters in form of 2 2 0 1 okay like this so we'll create a one more column that is the cluster and i i'm going to store this um, store this uh, predicted cluster in that and create a, a, a new column in the data frame so you can see that the new data frame is here and you can see the cluster for each and every data points so name we are not considering because no name is not making any sense to the business or the id cannot make any sense so we are considering only the attributes we are uh, which we are impacting to the business uh, point of view okay now you can see there are the clusters are there now uh, next thing is um, the cluster centers so for that uh, that model dot cluster underscore centers method will give you the cluster centers you can see uh, it it has given the array now uh, uh, the center one center two center three you can uh, you can just uh, um, uh, slice this uh, array and you can check so when I run this I want to see the cluster three what is the x x three y three so this is the x three y three actually okay so same uh, kind of x1 y1 uh, x2 y2 and x3 y3 so x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 okay these are the three uh, uh, the cluster centers basically now what i'll do i'll put it into a x uh, coordinate of these clusters as a x1 x2 x3 and these are the y1 y2 y3 in these variables so that it is easy to uh, plot on this uh, scatter plot basically okay you can see here for x also here you can see x1 x2 x3 y1 y2 y3 okay now we have to visualize the uh, uh, these data points with uh, different clusters so for that what i'll create so at, i will create a different data data frames uh, the, this is for cluster one i am selecting a df and df dot cluster is equal to cluster zero cluster one and cluster two so these three clusters will be created here and you can see a sample data of df1 here um, here you can see this is for cluster 0 okay same same way you can do for the D, uh, df2 and df3 yes and for that i am using here the plt dot scatter and i'll put uh, plotting this then i'm plotting this then i'm plotting this okay and then after that i am plotting the um, the centers i am giving the name to this uh, um, as a centroid and uh, giving the x axis name as the age y axis as the income and then legend uh, i am using and here i will show plt dot show also we have to write and check yes now uh, we have used uh, this scatter plot um, by using this data and you can see there is a nice visualization you can see 
there are the red data points green data points and black data points but now what we can see there is a, a misclassification a miss uh, there is a, some abnormality you can see here these data points should be in one cluster these data points should be in another cluster but uh, these centers are uh, scattered somewhere so why this happened because we could not able to uh, the clusterized this data uh, point to the respective clusters so this is the problem here with this why because this is the distance based um, uh, algorithm and here you can see for the data points uh, here uh, here is the data so this age age is ranging from some one range to another minimum to maximum this value is different and income is also ranging from uh, different uh, scale so this age and income is having some different uh, scales so we have to bring them onto a scheme scale so that is called as a feature scaling that is very important for the uh, distance based algorithms so this is the reason why you can see there is a uh, uh, there is a misclustering of the data points so we have to fix this uh, what we can do so we can do the uh, scaling so scaling uh, feature scaling is done by using a min max scalar or standard scalar okay so here i am importing a min max scalar min max scalar means we are converting these values age and income from 0 to 1 okay yes i am importing it from scalar dot pre processing and when i run it yes i am creating the uh, the object of uh, min max scalar here that is scalar and i am uh, um, i am uh, applying that to the uh, uh, the income and age okay so by using a fit underscore transform I am applying this to column and this to column okay so what I will get so I'll get a new data frame uh, sorry same data frame but these values are now changed these values are changed from this to this because we have converted we bring these two columns on a same range that is called as the feature scaling now it's good now we uh, we have to build the model uh, that is the km uh, model underscore new because the data is changed now uh, cluster predicted i'll use so same way k means n number of clusters you have to use fit underscore predict and you have to provide the data set and it will predict the clusters now you can see here now we got the new clusters now clusters are changed for different data so I am I am uh, storing the cluster into this column that is cluster underscore new, and here is the new clusters. Now earlier the old cluster this data point was in uh, cluster two, but now it's a cluster zero. Likewise, we got the new clusters, and also um, we we get the new centers also that particular uh, clusters. Now here you can see. Uh, we have created new data frame uh, the df 11 df 22 df 33 and what i'll do uh, for this uh, new based on these new clusters i am creating separate data frames and i am plotting the scatter plot for each uh, data frame uh, and for new um, cluster centers like this okay so now when i run this so you will see a nice scatter plot with three different distinct clusters with center centers centroids are are at the centers okay of that particular cluster now you can see that uh, earlier there was a misclassification of this black red and green now you can easily uh, um, uh, the data points are now in their respective clusters okay so this is the this is the this is the power of feature scaling which is very important for the linear based uh, distance based algorithms now next concept is um, uh, how to evaluate this whether this um, uh, k constraining is working fine or not for that we are having a inertia which is uh, the measure to check whether the key means k means is working fine or not the inertia is the measure of how well data sets are uh, was clustered by the k means it is calculated by measuring the distance between each data points and its centroid, squaring these distance and summing these uh, uh, squares across one cluster. Good model is one with low inertia and low number of clusters. Okay, 
and you can get the final inertia value after fitting the k-means by using a k-means inertia so i'll check the k-means inertia for this particular model and it's a 0.47 means it's a very low value and we can say that uh, yes uh, your model is performing well okay now uh, next one is earlier we know that uh, we can easily uh, know a uh, number of clusters but how to decide the optimal number of clusters whenever data set is used here you can easily plot it by the scatter plot and check uh, by visualization but if the data is big in that case you cannot uh, uh, take three clusters four clusters randomly so for that we are having a method that is called as the elbow method or the elbow elbow plot uh, plot which can uh, you will get the optimum number of clusters so we'll uh, let's get started we'll check uh, this is our data okay now i am considering x value as a, a df age and income okay and here i am um, fitting the model uh, the k-means model uh, with two and i am checking the inertia for two so what is happening i i will calculate the inertia for cluster two three four five six seven eight up to ten or nine clusters i am checking and accordingly i will calculate the inertia and I'll take the uh, the K value where the inertia is very less. Okay, so now what I'm doing here, the K, K clusters I'm taking from two to nine, 10 means up to nine, and I'm running a for loop K in the K clusters means this, and KM I'm building a new model based on the cluster that is one. So initially two cluster, then three, and then I am fitting the data. This data is nothing but uh, our age and income. Okay, here. And then I am appending SSC's um, sum of the squared error. This is called SSC dot append dot km dot inertia underscore. That I am using and I am storing it into this list. So when I run this, uh, what I getting is the SSC. You can see the SSC is this and uh, our um, our k clusters so these k clusters are uh, this uh, 2 to 9 okay so this is for 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so here you can see the lowest number of uh, inertia from uh, 2 to 9 so we will visualize this by using uh, again the uh, line plot so number of clusters y is sum of the squared error and i am plotting for k clusters okay k clusters means it's a range from 2 to 9 i am i am plotting for ssc sum of the squared error now here you can see a nice visualization here uh, let me do it here plt dot dot show yes you will get this plot uh, sum of the squared error and the number of clusters now what is the elbow method so elbow method means elbow is at this point at the three point you can see there is a elbow and this is the optimum number of uh, clusters so this is called as the elbow method while selecting a number of cluster, uh, clusters but uh, you cannot select four five six seven because there is a lesser uh, inertia but the optimum value can be find out from the this elbow because the k uh, uh, the uh, there, there should be a lesser value of number of clusters and lesser value of uh, ssc that value we have to select so the optimum value is 3 which is at the elbow of this particular graph okay so from here you can see that there are three clusters and the lowest inertia okay at lowest inertia lowest inertia is also there for 9 but we cannot select 9 because we have to find out the uh, optimum number of clusters now here you can see there is a nice graph already we have seen and uh, here there are three segments of the customer one is younger people with the lower income stream uh, elder people with the lower income stream that is red and the black is elder people with the higher income stream uh, stream so based on these three there are three customer segmentation we did and as per the business requirement, we can run uh, uh, policies or the advertisement or provide the discount to these particular customers so that they, these customers will be retained and uh, helps to grow the business. 
so that's why uh, here this is the unsupervised learning um, algorithm where uh, what we can see uh, we can see uh, there is a um, no um, label data is provided but whatever the data we are providing uh, that same data um, uh, the the algorithm itself finds the patterns from this okay so that's all from my side from this uh, uh, k means algorithm if you have any doubt you can reach out to me at uh, my email address ssbaber1984 uh, at uh, uh, at gmail.com okay or you can comment it out okay thank you thanks a lot